Welcome back to the Lights Out Podcast, bedtime stories for boys and girls around the world. Good evening, boys and girls. Are you ready for bed? Are you all snuggled up and ready for another Lights Out Bedtime Story? Good, because you're in for a treat tonight with my all-time favorite author and illustrator all in one go. That's right, Oliver Jeffers. I've been waiting for this book for a while. Tonight's book is called The Fate of Fausto by Oliver Jeffers. Once upon a time, there was once a man who believed he owned everything and set out to survey what was his. You are mine, said Fausto to the flower. Yes, said the flower. I am yours. Content, Fausto walked on. You are mine, he said to the sheep. Yes, said the sheep. I suppose I am. Feeling satisfied, Fausto walked on. Next, Fausto came upon a tree and declared, Tree, you are mine. To which the tree replied, Oh, all right, I can be yours. And the tree bowed before the man. This pleased Fausto, and he walked on, happy to be owning a sheep, a flower, and his tree. Before long, Fausto had claimed a field, and a forest, and a lake. At first, the lake had pretended not to hear, but Fausto showed that lake who was boss. When he reached the mountain, Fausto said in a clear voice, Mountain, you are mine. No, said the mountain, I am my own. This angered Fausto, and he stamped his foot and made a fist. Still, the mountain would not move. But Fausto put up such a fight you would not believe and showed the mountain who was boss. Eventually, the mountain bowed before Fausto and said, Yes, you are in charge. I am yours. Feeling very important, Fausto easily conquered a boat to set off to sea. For a mountain, a lake, a forest, a field, a tree, a sheep and a flower were not enough for him. When he got far enough from shore, Fausto said in a loud voice, See, you are mine. But the sea was silent. You belong to me, see? I know you can hear me, said Fausto, louder still. Then, after a while, the sea said quietly, You don't own me. You are wrong, I do, Fausto replied, unsure which way to look for the voice appeared to come from everywhere. But you don't even love me, said the sea. You are wrong again, said the man. I love you very much. But Fausto was lying, and the sea knew it. How can you love me when you do not understand me? The sea asked Fausto. You are wrong a third time, said Fausto. I understand you deeply. Then added, feeling impatient, Now admit you are mine, or I will show you who is boss. And how will you do that? asked the sea. 
I will stamp my foot and make a fist. If you wish to stamp your foot, then come to show me how it's done, so I understand. And in order to show his anger and importance, Fausto climbed overboard to stamp his foot on the sea. But he did not understand. And he did not know how to swim. The sea was sad for him, but carried on being the sea. The mountain too went back to its business, and the lake and the forest and the field and the tree and the sheep and the flower carried on as before. For the fate of Fausto did not matter to them. The End of The Fate of Fausto by Oliver Jeffers Here on the Lights Out Podcast Bedtime Stories for boys and girls around the world. Good night.